Cowboys. Welcome back to First Down, week number seven. The most entertaining five minutes in football hosted by me, Cowboy Mike, the ultimate Dallas Cowboy fan. I want everyone to know that the real Cowboy Mike is back for the rest of the season. No more holding back, no more being conservative. As a matter of fact, does anybody know what the word fan is short for? Well, Cowboy Mike is going to tell you. Fan is short for fanatic. Yes, and I am a fanatic. A Dallas Cowboy fanatic. And folks, that's why I want to thank the New York Giants. Yes, thank the New York Giants for getting rid of that Statue of Liberty that we call Drew Bledsoe. Because starting Sunday night, the Tony Romo Show will begin. And Tony Romo and Cowboy Mike will carry the Dallas Cowboys to the promised land. And all you Giants fans will be crying for the rest of the year. On that note, Doc, let's go to the scores. On Sunday, the Falcons knocked out Big Ben and then knocked out the Steelers 41-38 in overtime. The Chargers made the game look much closer than it was as they lost to the Chiefs 30-27. The Jaguars were totally outplayed in a 27-7 loss to the Texans. The Packers beat the Dolphins 34-24 in a battle of two teams that are going nowhere. The Bengals sneaked past the Panthers 17-14. The Patriots dominated the Bills 28-6. The NFL's stingiest defense held the Browns to 7 points as Denver beat Cleveland 17-7. The Colts are still undefeated in a 36-22 win over the Redskins. The Vikings rolled over Seattle and Hasselbeck's knee in a 31-13 victory over the Seahawks. The Raiders got win number 1, 22-9 over the Cardinals and Denny Green should fire himself this week. The Jets beat the Lions 31-24, and Matt Bryant's 62-yard field goal beat the Eagles 23-21 as time expired. And folks, Monday night, we all know, the Giants beat the Cowboys 36-22. And Giants fans, one more time, thank you for getting rid of Drew Bledsoe, and I hope LeVar Arrington gets better real soon. And now... Cowboy Mike's fantasy stud of the week is Algie Crumpler. Six catches, 117 yards, three touchdowns. By far the biggest fantasy output of any tight end this year. My five star awards. The Aikman goes to Peyton Manning, 342, four touchdowns. The Emmett, Chester Taylor led the Vikings in a big upset over Seattle, 169 yards, 26 carries, and a touchdown. The Irving. Hines Ward, 8 catches, 171 yards, 3 touchdowns. The Manster is going to go to Rondé Barber. 2 interceptions returned for a touchdown off McNabb and also had 6 solo tackles. The Bill Bates Award has to go to Matt Bryant. His 62-yard gem beat the Eagles in a thriller in Tampa Bay. My 5-star lock for all my gambling buddies. I usually don't do it. But my Dallas Cowboys, led by Tony Romo, plus five and a half over the Carolina Panthers. Three other top games of the week. I have the Bengals over the Falcons, the Chargers over the Rams, and the Broncos giving the Colts their first loss. I want to give a quick shout out to Eddie Gomez, who is protecting and serving all of us at the Dunkin' Donuts in Long Branch on Broadway. Hey, Eddie, how about them Cowboys, baby? And everyone, don't forget, Michael Huff is the tops. Turn back the clock, card of the week. So get to your local hobby shop while supplies last. For the Backstop.net, I'm Cowboy Mike. Tune in next week for another episode of First Down!